Hello Perfect Beauties, my name is Daisy and for today's video I'm going to be telling you 10 beauty mistakes that turn men off. Now I hesitated to make this video because I don't think we should be doing um, beauty solely to impress men. I honestly, I wear makeup and I started my whole YouTube channel because I love makeup, hello. However, men might think of makeup differently. So if you are interested in what men don't like, then stay tuned. So the first complaint that guys have about women and their makeup and beauty habits is wearing too much fragrance. So I can completely understand this because I have definitely been in situations where the woman is just in the elevator and I cannot breathe. My trick for this is I actually put the fragrance if I'm wearing um, like a skirt or a dress. I will put the fragrance and behind my knees and I find that this way I don't overpower my scent or else just you know if you're wearing a darker fragrance just you know put two spritz, dab it and then put it either behind your ears, behind your neck, or in your um, cleavage area, and that's all you need. Again, remember, less is more. Number two complaint that guys had is foundation overload. Now, I actually disagree with this because I don't think um, the guys are complaining that women are wearing too much foundation. I think it's because um, the woman is not like doing the foundation right, or she is applying a bad color or a bad texture or a bad shade on her. So it's very, very obvious um, that she's wearing the wrong foundation. So for me, whenever I buy a new foundation, I will put on my face and let it sit for a few hours and see just how it looks in natural light. Here are some like natural looking foundations that I like. The, the Laneige BB Cream is one of my favorites. It's so watery that it goes on and it's like water. Like seriously, it will not kick on. Makeup Forever HD, just don't like apply too much, but apply just areas where you need coverage. And also things like um, any kind of BB cream or tinted moisturizer or primer is probably a safe bet because it won't look super cakey. Three is spidery lashes. So guys, do not like spidery lashes. I actually really like spidery lashes, so I don't really know we disagree on this, but to make sure you're not having spidery lashes, just put on, I guess, two or three coats max of mascara and use a combing brush to comb it through. Uh, make sure to curl your lashes because that will kind of give you more lash for your mascara buck, I guess. And also, don't be afraid to try out false lashes. Now, I'm not advocating maybe the lashes I'm wearing because it might be too dramatic for like a daytime date, but you know, try thinking of maybe half, half lashes, wispy lashes, or, um, getting eyelash extensions because that will make your eyelashes fuller without giving the spidery look. The next tip is too much bronzer. Now I actually love a lot of bronzing, highlighting, whatever, and that's great for doing a photo shoot or being in front of the camera, but if you're just on like a girl next door kind of date, girl next door, or guy next door kind of date, um, try either just not using bronzer or just doing a very light hand or applying a bronzer that is like one or two shades max darker than your actual skin color that is matte and make sure to blend it and buff it in. Usually when I um, want to look very natural, I will take and do my normal, like um, I guess, um, contouring routine, but then I'll take another brush, I'll take another fluffy brush and then re-blend everything to make sure that um, it's not like dark line. Five is yellow tinged teeth. So um, to combat this, all you need are crest white strips, um, or just use like a whitening gel. I got mine from CVS for like 10 bucks. It doesn't need to be super expensive. If you drink coffee or tea, try drinking coffee or tea through a straw because I definitely think coffee stains lips. And also, if you can, wear like a berry toned lipstick or lip gloss. It will help make your teeth look whiter. For example, I feel like my teeth look super white in this. This is um, Ruby Woo by MAC and it has a bluish undertone. Six is sticky lips. So maybe he wants to get a smooch in there so just do not wear super glossy, sticky lips. It will look good in pictures, but it does not look good when a guy is trying to kiss you because it's super intimidating and it might get all over like your drink or napkins or your shirt 
or whatnot. So just use like a chapstick or a lip balm or one of those lip balms with um, tint in them to give you a really hydrated, kissable smooch. Also what I like to do is apply some lip liner and then I'll put some chapstick over the lip liner. Seven is a stiff hair. So um, guys like that bombshell, like Victoria's Secret model, like very voluminous, soft hair that they can run their fingers through. If you are going on a date, just try to lay off the hairspray. Try not to go for your big, poofy, um, um, you know, tight ringlet curls or huge, like, um, what is it, Beyonce hair. Just try to go something very natural so that way your hair won't appear too stiff and that way there's a lot of volume and bounce as you walk or, I don't know, just as you move it. Eight is smoky eye. So I actually agree with this. I think a smoky eye might be a little bit too much for a first date. Smoky eye is something that you would wear to the club, filming a YouTube video like this, or um, you know, like going in an evening event. But if you do want to wear eye makeup and you want it to look natural but open up your eyes a lot, I highly suggest a cut crease makeup look that is basically what I do almost 24 seven. So you're putting a little bit of a darker shadow, a matte darker shadow um, on the crease and then um, like, like a nice light colored shadow um, beneath it and then you know put a little bit of liner in the waterline and tight line your eyes curl your lashes mascara instantly brighter larger looking eyes but it doesn't look like you're wearing too much makeup and also smoky eyes can intimidate men because like the smokiness just looks very Cara Delevingne which is fine but for a first date it might you know scare them away and the last tip is something that I don't really agree with because I love this but they say to avoid largely like manicured nails or like largely like like nails that have too bright of patterns, too bold of patterns, lots of nail art or like rhinestones or crystals on them because it can distract and intimidate your guys. Um, I personally, I love nail stuff. Like I love bright, obnoxious nails. So for me, I don't really care. That's not something I'm willing to give up. But um, you know, maybe if it is a first date, maybe you try pushing back your manicure a few days after the date to make sure that you have just your natural nails. Um, I think, you know, just having a nice gel manicure with neutral colors is always best for anybody, it is not offensive to anybody. There are the top 10 beauty mistakes that turn off men. Now again, I don't advocate you to change yourself simply for a guy, but if you are going on a first date and you're not sure about, you know, what the guy's into or whatnot, then it's always better to be on the conservative side than to offend him right away. And then later on, you can get to know your dark side more. I'm just kidding. Um, so thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I make videos every Tuesday and Friday. Bye.